Hi everyone! Right, I am excited about this. Um, I have a client who has quite a few of my paintings and uh, she wants a purple, um, purplish uh, shaded flick and spin uh, flowery shape hopefully on a white background. So I've mixed my white uh, base paint. The canvas is uh, 50 by 50 centimeters and it's one of those deep edge ones to go with her her previous one. Uh, that means it's about 20 inches square. Okay, so the colors. I've got three purplish colors. The first one here is a Liquitex Dioxidine Purple with Titanium White, just to lighten it somewhat okay then this one here is a this little piggy pinwheel uh, mixed with our amsterdam binder um yeah this should give the painting some really really cool effects once once it's dry because it's one of those uh interference or duo duo colors and this one is gorgeous i've got to show you it Look at that shimmer. And that is basically just a Liquitex Dioxidine Purple mixed with um, Deco Art Pearl, Metallics Pearl. And it gives it a really, really nice, nice pearlescent paint thing. And finally, for some contrast, uh, just a bit of our Amsterdam Light Gold. Nothing mixed in with it apart from European Flow Chalk and Distilled water okay so that's my color scheme today i'm gonna start laying down the base paint i've got plenty of um the white base this time after the near, <laughs> near fiasco of the uh, black one where i was so worried i wouldn't have enough enough paint so yeah i'm gonna shut up now <laughs> put some music on for you and get to painting If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better? If I wrote you a poem, if I posted a I go without knowing 
am going to call that one done. Um, <laughs> the first go, I don't quite know, perhaps you can see from the camera better, but it went so off centre. And had I had the sound on, there would have been quite a few bleeps out words. Although there was one or two, yes, when I got it right. But I decided to um, do something I don't normally do and not scrape, but go again with a new new base and a new, new layer of colours. I think it's really cool. It's given it this really interesting, um, ghostly, ghostly background. And all I can say is, fingers crossed, my client likes it. I'm going to let this dry now. And uh, in the meanwhile, speak to my client, see what she says. <laughs> and hopefully I will be back with you with the dried results. See you then. Bye. Now, here's the dried results. And I'm very, very happy to say that the uh, client loves it. Even with, I want to show you these uh, slight problems. What I see as imperfections. See, there's like tiny, tiny, tiny little cracks here and there. And that's a mix with the Deco Out Art Pearl. And I've had issues with pearl mediums before. So, yeah, that's an interesting one. But I don't think it ruins a piece. I love it. And so does a client. But I'd love to hear what you think. Please leave me a comment and drop me a like as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.